Back here at CA Football Media Day Live in M&T Bank Stadium, home of the Baltimore Ravens, here with the Stony Brook Seawolves head coach Chuck Priori. We've got quarterback Joe Carbone. we got Shane Lawless here on the defensive side to my right. Gentlemen, how's Media Day been so far? It's been great, man. It's been, it's great, been great to kind of meet these other guys in the league and see some other guys and also uh, talk to some other coaches and play a couple games while we're here, too. It's been fun. I was going to say, so Joe, you were playing Madden over there at the social station? And no, I wasn't playing Madden. No. Shane was playing Shane Madden. Was playing I got Madden. to get a game in. Yeah. He 21 quit, someone. Quick win, man. He, he yeah. quit at halftime. It's it nothing crazy. <laughs> Coach. That's you know, my team. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Relentless, right? Speaking of relentless, last year, great year for the Seawolves. Back to the playoffs. I'm sure the bar has now been set higher for this team heading into 2018. Yeah, appreciate that. Um, yeah, it was a great year, and obviously these guys were a big part of that year. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're a big part of our leadership this year. Coach, talk a, you guys play old school football. I love watching you guys play, right? Don't make mistakes, play great defense, run the football, take your shots downfield, special teams, all really important when you guys do how do you How do you kind of instill that kind of old school mentality in kind of a new school environment the way that camp is now? You know, even though I was a running back in college, I was an old line coach my whole career. Oh, yeah. So I really that explains a lot. <laughs> I really believe the ability to to play the game between the tackles is important. So I think it creates a good atmosphere in practice. And you know, I'm down with the old line all the time. So I'm only watching that inside group of kids. Now Joe doesn't appreciate that sometimes. <laughs> um, but you know, we have a group of guys that really like the physical part of the game. Our quarterback likes the physical part of the game. So when you have those type of guys, it's pretty easy. Right. Speaking of your quarterback here, I believe our guys in the back are queuing up this play. Last play of the game against Maine. Got to look back at that. The Hail Mary in the end zone. What was that like, your reaction? I mean, you know, sports center top play, everything. I mean, that was a tremendous ending to a great regular season for you guys. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, that whole game, Maine had our number. We really couldn't move the ball or really anything. And... Um, Came down to our last last possession, and uh, we hit up one play to get us in, in uh, position to, have, to heave it up to the end zone for uh, Hail Mary. And that last play, Harrison has made a great catch, and it was it was unreal ending. It was crazy. <laughs> Speaking of Harrison, there's you know there's some guys that you have to you know replace on the offensive side of the ball. Stacy Bedell is gone, but Harrison Jackson, your favorite target, Ray Bolden. Who are some of these guys that maybe we'll be seeing as training camp evolves, playing week one, that will kind of be your weapons around you this year? Yeah, uh, we got a lot of great uh, players coming back, especially at the wide, rec wide receiver position. We got uh, Donnie Washington. We got a transfer from uh, Temple, Marshall Ellick. We have Juju Wingate, um, Nick Anderson, Trent. I mean, we have a lot of guys that could step up and make plays, so I'm excited for them. Shane, talk a little bit about what it's going to be like going into camp, having to compete against that offense. Defensively, you guys were a good unit last year. I enjoyed watching you play. Talk a little bit about what you got coming back. Uh, camp should be fun, man. It's always competitive going against our offense. It's, every year it's been getting more competitive and more competitive, and I think this year's going to be no different because every year we've just been reloading with talent and guys who are just gaining experience through camp and through playing time. And, yeah, I think um, – there's definitely a little, we definitely reloaded on defense, especially in a couple of different positions. I think it's going to be, um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how guys get after it and try to earn a spot and earn some spots on defense. And it's going to be fun. Speaking of earning some spots on defense, coach, you like, you know, Brandon said, kind of old school mentality, smash mouth football. This defense consistently year in and year out is one of the best in the league. Uh, how do you, what do you say to this unit that keeps them playing at this high level? Well, the credit goes to our defensive staff because I'm an offensive guy and, um, you know, they do a great job of setting the bar. Um, and I think, you know, once again, we do feel defense wins. And, um, it's not a fake, it's not fake news, defense wins. <laughs> um, and when you really look at our, our scope of what we try to do, we're attack oriented. We led the country in tackle for losses last year. Mm -hmm. And that's not the first guy because yep. we didn't have a lot of sacks. That is the second and third guy and fourth guy pursuing the football. And, you know, a lot of times, and Shane will tell you, he's been thrown off the field because in practice they do it. And I don't like my running backs oh, yeah. getting hit late. But um, so they've been thrown in the locker room at times and to the dismay of, of themselves. But honestly, when the game starts, I love it. 
was going to say, Brandon, this is, you know, we've been talking about training camp to all these players and coaches this week, you know, the adjustments over the years on training camp and players really like training camp. This one, it sounds like this needs to be the, the, the HBO documentary series of training camps here. <laughs> I like it. I always figured that if I could get <laughs> defensively, if you can get the offensive coordinator or the head coach in a bad mood, you've had a good day on defense. That's right? usually our goal. That's what we go for. <laughs> if Coach B's not yelling, it's not a good practice. That's, That's good. usually like how it goes. We have like Stony Brook it. hard knocks over here. Yeah. yeah. So, so Shane, talk a little bit about what, what do you like about training camp? It's just fun, man. It's just fun to compete with uh, your brothers. You know what I'm saying? You guys, it, it's a grind, especially. It's eight, seven, eight, nine hours a day most of the time. And it's a grind competing with these guys and growing with these guys too. That's what's really fun for me. Because it does get really competitive. Like you say, it gets chippy at times because we see each other every day. I'm, I'm around Joe 24-7. I get tired of him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why it gets chippy in practice because it's the same way. I get to go against, you know, guys like Cal and everything every day. And that's why it's fun, too, because, you know, no matter what, no matter what happens, we're still brothers. You know what I mean? It's fun to compete, but it's even better to prepare for the season during that training camp time. Of course, Joe gets the red shirt, right? Yeah, yeah, you can't, can't touch, touch Joe. Yeah. Can't touch Joe. He's always off limits, <laughs> but what's, it's fun what, to get in his yeah. head a little bit. Talk, talk oh, there a little you smack. Go. Yeah, it's, it's what, what's it like for you? What is what's camp like from a quarterback's perspective? Um, camp is just a great opportunity to get back on the field and get ready for the season, start preparing. And like Shane said, it's a great time to compete and really see who wants to play, who doesn't want to play, who's going to step up, and um, really just come together as a team and try to develop that identity before the season starts. Coach, you know, you guys were one of four CA football teams that made the playoffs last year. What makes this conference so good year in, year out? Um, you know, I think it starts with the, the level of coaching. Um, there is not a game you go into that if you don't have your best ready for your opponent, um, mm -hmm. you will get out coached. So from a coaching perspective, it, it's really a challenge to prepare. Um, and then what I think the other thing is the, 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 the physicalness of the league. And you look at the number of defense in this league ranked in the top 20 in the country. Um, and I think that's the mentality that this league plays with. As, as much as a lot of leagues are wide open and score a lot of points, the success of this league is, you know, playing great defense, mm -hmm. playing it physical, and being efficient. As you started off with just being efficient, don't turn the ball over and be successful at the little things yeah. that are important. Shane, did you get a crab cake yesterday? No, I didn't get a chance to. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to. We flew in this morning, so it's been a little early. It's been a uh, – didn't get a chance to this weekend. No crab cakes? It's Tuesday. No, no obviously cakes. no. Maybe you guys – you guys – we flew in. We got up this morning at 3.34 and flew in this morning. So. <laughs> Appreciate it. It was rough weather down here. Was it because of the weather? No, that was our flight, and um, we're actually taking a train back because our flight will be canceled. So nice. You know. Speaking of travel, you open up at Air Force this year. Kind of an interesting – it's an FBS opponent all the way across the country. We're, give some uh, early thoughts on, you know, I know every opponent you, you try to treat the same, but, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting trip to say the least. You go first, Joe, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited to go to Colorado. Never been there before. It'll be an honor to play against uh, the Air Force Academy, um, some military members. I mean, it's going to be a really cool experience. I'm excited to play. Yeah, it's definitely an honor. It's definitely going to be fun going out there to Colorado. It's different for us defensively because they run the spread, the triple option. It's going to be a lot different for us preparing and everything like that. But I think we're up to the challenge, and I think Air Force is a really good team, and I think it's going to be a, a competitive game. Coach, how did this game come about? What's a, you know, bet? You know, I think um, one of the things we always look for are marquee games that will sell your recruits. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a pretty neat game when you talk about yeah. Colorado Springs, the academies. Um, we also had such a great experience in 2012 when we played West Point. Um, mm -hmm. And just running on that field with that kind of atmosphere. So when we had the chance that that could be an opponent, we jumped at it. That's great. What, so what do you got, Shane, you're going to play the, the option, I mean, the old school option. What, what from a backer perspective, I mean, that's going to add a degree of difficulty to, to the game Definitely. prep in that day. Definitely. It's tough because they're not looking to make that big play. They just want three, four yards of pop and keep the chains moving. And that's tough because you got to limit that. And they're, that's all they do, and that's what they're trained to do. They do it really effectively as well. That's going to be very different game planning wise, I, I can imagine. We haven't looked to it too much, but... It's going to be very different, and it's going to be a challenge. I think it's going to be a, it's really going to be like a smash mouth football game, especially with our offense and the way our defense plays. Well, Coach Joe, Shane, thank you so much for joining us on Media Day. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day, and hope you get back home safely. Safe travels yeah. back you. to I Long Island. Appreciate it. Appreciate what you guys do. All right.